CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Hundreds of people descended on MLA offices across the province today, building on the momentum that was created on the lawn of the legislature on Monday. They're calling on the government and the opposition to take a stand against pipelines in British Columbia, as well as oil and gas tanker traffic on the coast. While the message was delivered to both parties in the same way, the responses that came back were quite different. CTV Stephen Andrew reports. No pipelines! No tankers! No they come by the hundred. People from all over Vancouver Island gathering at MLA offices, voicing their opposition to the proposed Northern Gateway pipeline and tankers off BC's coast. Sir! Yes, sir! As with Monday's protest on the lawn of the legislature, the protesters are from all walks of life. Carol James's constituency office in Victoria, a commercial fisherman. I'm not per se against oil, but this particular project is ludicrous. And if anything I can do to stop this, I, I'm here. The Enbridge pipeline is simply wrong on every level. In Nanaimo, hundreds more protesters, including a minister. Our federal government particularly and our provincial government seem willing to sell us out just for a few more dollars for the oil sands. And outside Cabinet Minister Ida Chong's community office, university students are making sure the younger voices are being heard. We're not going to stand by and just let something happen without showing that we believe in something. Organizers say the demonstrations are designed to keep pressure on politicians to stop further development of pipelines. Pushing for more tankers, expanding tar sands and more pipelines that that is leading us in the wrong direction. But the protesters are unhappy that not all MLAs on Vancouver Island are on hand to listen to their message. While many island opposition MLAs participate in the demonstration, Oak Bay Gordon head MLA Ida Chong is busy with other appointments. One of the people challenging Chong for her seat believes her absence from the protest could hurt her next May. Your job is not to go from event to event and toast here and light a candle there. Your job is to listen to your constituents and represent them. Here they are, coming here, asking to be heard, and they're not being heard. But organizers believe their voices are being heard, if not in person, then through media reports. And the protesters say there will be plenty of chances for MLAs to listen as they plan for more demonstrations. CTV Stephen Andrew joins us now live with more. Stephen, you just got off the phone with Ida Chung. Where was she today? Well, Hudson, she was in a previously scheduled cabinet meeting in Vancouver and then meeting with First Nations leaders. She said her staff did tell the protesters that, but uh, many who were at of those First Nations leaders, by the way, were at Monday's legislature protest. When, when you talk to these people who are demonstrating, do you, do you think that they get the impression politicians are listening? And, and is this the same group or are there some different faces here? Well, many of the protesters tell me that this is their first time demonstrating. I mean, they feel their voices are not being heard by either Liberal or NDP politicians. And they feel that this is the time to stand up and uh, make their position known. They believe that these protesters will make a, a difference. And they say they're not going to give up until there are changes. All right. Stephen Andrew reporting. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome.